Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1919 three pence from the reign of King George V, the coin we can see on screen now. I'll first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design and it is quite intricate yet simple and was done by Jean Baptiste Melen, representing the three there, of course, as this is a three pence piece. Above which you have a crown, quite a nice ornate depiction of St. Edward's crown to the top there. And then between, beside the three, we have the number 19 and 19, of course giving us the date for this coin, 1919, the year it was minted. Surrounding the design we have a wreath of two branches of oak, and we can see their acorn, acorns and oak leaves on the branches. This is then tied together at the bottom with a ribbon, tied in a bow, so overall a very nice detailed, intricate and symmetrical design for this coin. And now we can see on the rim small teeth, milling or beads, on the reverse and here on the obverse to prevent any silver being clipped off of the edges. Speaking of the obverse, we can see here a portrait now of King George V. This is the only bust of George V used in British coins, and it was done by Bertram McKennell, whose initials BM we can see on the truncation of the king's neck. He faces to the left, wearing no crown and no laureate. Around him we can see a long, abbreviated Latin legend. This reads Georgivus V D G Brit Om Rex F D Ind Imp, or in English means George V, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. The titles held by him at the time, of course, when he was king, and of course how they believed back then he was chosen to be king by God. There's the design, and now on to the facts and figures of the 1919 threepence. A coin minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 to 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, so 92.5% pure silver, which is known, of course, as sterling silver, the last year of sterling silver used in 1919. The weight of this coin is 1.414 grams, it's a fairly light coin, and therefore of course a small coin with a diameter of only 16 millimetres, and it was the smallest silver coin used at the time. The mintage for this coin is not small though, with 16,845,687 being produced in 1919, so a large mintage there for the final year of sterling threepences. The threepence coin is of course worth three pence, this is then one quarter of a shilling and one eightieth of a pound, so there would be 80 of these coins within every pound. And back in 1919, when the coin was made, a three pence was equal to 81 pence today. So quite a, you know, a large buying power there, comparable more like to a pound coin today, but just a three pence back then. The coin was demonetized in 1946, as the new brass three pences were used after and into the future after then. Now then, moving on to the value of the coin today, it'll sell for around pound fifty in poor condition, around three twenty five in fine condition, up to £7 in extremely fine grade, and then £15 in uncirculated. So as we can see there, a pretty low price tag there all across the board, even in the high grades, a cheaper and affordable coin to add to your collection if you're looking to add a high grade old silver coin to the collection. So there we go. Comment down below if you have this coin. Please of course subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed, and of course a massive thank you for watching to the end. It's much appreciated, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs.